Uh, hello there students, today we will talk about uh, storytelling in teaching young learners. In the beginning, I want to give you uh, background information about uh, story-based learning method. So this method is uh, very popular among uh, primary school learners and uh, as well as uh, caregivers also use this method when they are teaching kindergarten um, children as well. Let's first look at what is a story-based learning approach. Growing up, children listen to fairy tales which provide an accessible way to communicate important message to children and uh, in a playful and simple manner. Uh, younger minds make connections between the fairy tale worlds uh, and um, so real life situations which helps them develop their problem solving skills. Uh, put another way, stories make it easier for children to receive and uh, process information as well as storytelling as a teaching method uh, is a highly effective tool for uh, building a new knowledge and learning a variety of 21st century skills. Furthermore, a story-based learning approach moves children into the world of imagination while acquiring new skills which simplifies the educational process and makes it more effortless. It means young children learn new skills and language without making uh, lots of effort and lots of hard work. Storytelling uh, is a teaching method which helps young learners solve given problems and tasks in a playful way and creates constructive and creative comprehension of the given matter. Uh, so storytelling um, lessons allows students, uh, allows young learners to acquire language automatically. It means uh, at some point, uh, they don't make effort to understand what is going on to the language structure or some grammar rules. They just learn uh, whatever they hear, new words and new ideas, and all of the information um, they get from their teacher or caregivers uh, goes straight into their subconscious first. And then, uh, after listening to the stories over and over, uh, practicing new words and new ideas, uh, working with different personalities in uh, while storytelling. So they also uh, all of the information they get uh, becomes active. Uh, it means they can use the new words and new information they get in their real life situations. As well as presented with a storyline, story children perceive the learning process more easily and effortlessly and through this way the acquisition of the new knowledge and skills rail it in a game. So it means, uh, uh, so the process makes it attractive to children, uh, even for those who don't even uh, interested in the lesson or interested in um, that language. And say, uh, so let's say, so the people who are not immersed in the language cl uh, classroom automatically uh, expose themselves in the learning process. Uh, now I'm going to talk you uh, a number of benefits that uh, story-based learning can bring into the classroom. The first one is, uh, so this technique is now to be one of the most effective teaching strategies and it's, uh, it's now popular among uh, lots of uh, language teachers and some primary school teachers. So the main benefits uh, of storytelling techniques are uh, highly, it's highly motivative and uh, students are required to be active during the lesson and at the same time students uh, who are super active, let's say hyperactive and they cannot sit still during the classroom so they are all of the energy are highly directed to the classroom, to the process and um, say they unconsciously become silent and at, this, uh, at some point uh, during the, some parts of the story they can also express their feelings through their energy and um, the positivity that teacher get from this technique is uh, that active students can also be easily involved in the process. As well as storytelling, uh, storytelling uh, classes boosts creativity. 
Uh, so students work with uh, different illustrations, pictures, they listen to the stories and even though they don't uh, see those pictures by listening to their teachers, uh, young children and learners can imagine the process, imagine the places, things, characteristics they are listening to in their minds. And every single, uh, every single student uh, imagines the situation, characteristics and the places in their own way. They, have different, um, pic they will have different picture of the story. And the next benefit of a story-based classroom is the cooperation between children. Uh, so it also straightly uh, helps students uh, to deepen the understanding of a subject. If the subject is about uh, environment or nature, and if the teacher um, uses some story based on that subject, uh, it will be easier for young learners um, to meet the objectives of the subject. And, uh, and the next, the most important benefits of this method is uh, the attention span of the learners increases. Uh, so, in fact, young learners uh, tend to have shorter attention span and uh, through storytelling and through some giving them information um, in a story-based way, uh, their, at um, their attention can be easily grabbed by the teacher because students will hear different words and uh, different voices and if the teacher uh, will show uh, some different movements uh, by gestures, by uh, body movement and by facial expression, so they will never get bored during the lesson. Uh, the next uh, benefit of this technique is uh, it also motivates children to be active participants in the constructions of the meaning of the story. So for example, uh, if teacher uses different cards or uh, props or some puppets uh, to show the characters of the story, children can also get involved in the process and they can also use these cards and use these uh, specific items with their own hands and um, so the process will be more interesting for them when they are exposed themselves in the process and through this way children can interact with each other, look at their uh, role plays and make some fun during the lesson. Uh, in this method, children can also feel that they have a greater impact on the process and it boosts their responsibility uh, and um, so they will contribute to the lesson and they feel themselves as, uh, as an important person, as an important student, as an important individual in the classroom. And as a result, assignments and different tasks will be fun for them as uh, they will understand the uh, result, they will be in charge of the result of their actions. So therefore, um, so children should be constantly motivated to be active during this process. Now I will give you some, uh, some other benefits of implying this method in the classroom. So the first one is storytelling can be a very versatile and powerful teaching tool. A teacher will not have to use different handouts or pa paper-based materials and they will just have to use their uh, artistic ability, their voices and their body in the classroom. As well as stories are fun and motivational, as I have mentioned before. And the next benefit is it allows students to be creative and imaginative. And uh, the next benefit is students' uh, a sense of achievement uh, will, bo will be boosted and uh, they will have a chance to practice their oral fluency and um, they will have extended discourse. It's extended discourse means uh, they will learn different phrases and uh, some minimal pairs of words that they may use, that they can use in their daily lives in uh, real-time scenarios. Uh, the following benefit of stories is the language will be taught in a more comprehensive and meaningful way 
Apart from these formal explanations or uh, deductive teaching of grammar rules, storytelling will give uh, inductive uh, understanding of some grammar structures and some rules in the language. At this age, young learners uh, will lack of some meta-language. So by meta-language, I mean some of the specific phrases and words that teachers use when they are explaining grammar, like this is subject or this is verb. And uh, especially when these learners are second, uh, and for these learners, English is second language. So it will be harder, even harder for them to understand some uh, uh, terminologies in English grammar. So that's why by storytelling students will be more exposed in the language and uh, their understanding will be expanded. And the next is stories uh, should be authentic. It means um, the topic of the story should be familiar both for teachers and students. Uh, if their pupils do not understand the topic and the topic is harder and more complex for their age or for their level, so the objective of this method uh, may not be met. And if the teacher doesn't understand the topic or teachers will not be familiar with the topic, they will have less artistic ability and less impact on giving that knowledge, giving that information in a fun way to students. So when teacher is ready for the class and when the story is familiar to the teacher and without looking at some papers, without looking at some books, teachers can um, show that characteristics, uh, utter some important uh, words from the story with, uh, with high or low voice. And so pre-preparation uh, pre is important uh, in this method. So listening to stories can develop important skills of students like prediction, guessing, hypothesizing, and uh, message decoding. So when one character of the uh, story um, will say some uh, different phrases or before saying that phrase, uh, learners may predict um, what will uh, be the next step in this story. For example, uh, let's say, the princess woke up, and after this woke up uh, word, uh, learners will have some understanding what will be the next, what will, uh, what will be the next step uh, of the princess. So she will woke up and open her eyes or uh, make her bed or get up like this. They will have some uh, prediction in their minds. And it also directly leads to guessing as well. So decoding is also very important at this age and if we arose this skill um, in our students from early ages, uh, when they step into a secondary or high school, they will have uh, no difficulty uh, when there will be changes in subjects. Because in primary schools, students will have less subjects and only one teacher. And when they, uh, when they go to the secondary school, they will have more subjects, which may seem harder to them, like they will have uh, history, they will have uh, um, physics, and by decoding, their overall understanding of different notions and abstract thinking will be boosted and in their further lives uh, um, it will be easier for them to understand some uh, um, difficult notions. Uh, when it comes to uh, cultural understanding, storytelling uh, has a great impact in inputting uh, overall culture, cultural understanding in language uh, classrooms. Uh, so the first uh, benefit is um, when the story is based on different culture, by listening to the story, students will have little uh, more or less understanding about that particular culture. For example, um, Red Riding Hood is not uh, Uzbek story and uh, its culture is different from ours. And when this story is told uh, for Uzbek young learners, uh, learning English language, they will have uh, more or less understanding about uh, the culture of the story's uh, country. So they will have um, 
more information about uh, other cultures and it will help them to understand and value their culture more and uh, they will be more understanding and sensibility between different cultures when they are making friends uh, by different cultures. And now I'm going to give you some sources of stories that uh, you can use in your classroom. The first one is uh, the first and foremost rule is the topic of the story should be familiar uh, at first to you as a teacher and to your students, to your uh, children. So as I've mentioned before, if you are not ready to the story that you are telling beforehand, they may have some misunderstanding or the interesting point of the stories may be missed and some other disadvantages may appear uh, while you are telling that story to your children. And you can also use some stories from your students' everyday lives. For example, um, so that you can take the story that happened last week with one of your uh, students and it will be fun for them to listen to the story uh, in their target language and listening to the same uh, scenario from their lives and it will definitely be interesting for them. And the next source that I highly recommend you to use is the children's books and magazines as well as comics, uh, which, have, uh, which often have some illustrations and pictures. Uh, and if you want to show uh, the story with pictures, it will be more beneficial for students and it will make the understanding process easier for your learners. However, there are some advantages and disadvantages of storytelling with pictures. So the first advantage is um, students will, uh, will be interested in the story easily because they are already watching the illustrations, watching the pictures of the characters of the story and they, are, they already have that uh, particular uh, image of the story. Uh, however, the disadvantage is uh, their critical thinking may be so the disadvantage of showing the picture and storytelling is students uh, may not use their imagination and it will lead to less use of critical thinking at their ages because everything will be ready. They will have just to look at the pictures and listen to their teacher. And both of the strategies should be implied in the classroom uh, one after another. So um, I don't mean that you should story tell without pictures or you should story tell with pictures. So uh, look at the situation, look at the uh, environment of your classroom and choose your own technique. The next source that you can use uh, when you are storytelling in your classroom is some traditional, um, traditional stories from uh, our ancestors uh, that have been passing through generation from generation. So um, the main benefit of using folk stories in your storytelling classroom is that they will have a great value of their history, great value of their ancestors' lives and uh, they will have much appreciation to their grandfathers and grandmothers and the life of our old ancestors and um, and they will have uh, more uh, they will value more what they have now so if you have none of other uh, sources that I've mentioned before so I highly recommend you to create your own, your own story and now I will tell you one useful website that you can use to create your own story uh, learnenglishkids.britishcouncil.org is the best website best official website that you can use in your classroom uh, whatever it's about story based or some teaching grammar or vocabulary this website allows you to uh, access to the ready lesson uh, lesson plans and teaching materials and they also have some uh, different illustrations video materials you can also find some interesting games stories tongue twisters whatever related to your young learners uh, audience uh, one of the features of this website it is uh, they offer you one uh, story creating feature. In this website, uh, the story creating games allow you to 
uh, choose your own characters of the story. Uh, it may be place, you can choose uh, people and uh, uh, different types of things that uh, you want to appear in the story. And once you choose those pictures, the website itself creates a story based on the pictures you have chosen and um, more or less uh, so you will uh, contribute to the um, ready story and you can easily use uh, that one in your in your classroom with your students let's continue with the stories benefits on children the first one is uh, stories can allow children to explore their own cultural roots when you are using some folk stories or the legends of your culture they will have more understanding about their cultural roots and the next one is it allows uh, children to experience diverse cultures. Uh, they will be in a role of some French culture, English, German, whatever your story is based on. And it also enables children to emphasize with unfamiliar people, places and situations. And in, the, in their later lives, it will help them to be sensible in different situations that uh, that are not familiar to them. It also offers insights into different traditions and value, as well as it offers insights into different traditions and values and understand how wisdom is common to all people and all cultures. So it will help to um, teach young people from their early ages that all people are equal and all cultures are equal and they will have less discriminations once they get mature. Um, as well as insights uh, that they get will be beneficial into universal life experiences. The stories, the situations they hear from their teachers may be beneficial at some point of their lives. They will, have, uh, they will get some valuable lessons from the stories and morals of the stories and later in their lives they uh, try to implement them or uh, when they are at some point of their lives uh, the information and insights they get from the stories will definitely be beneficial for your learners. Considering new ideas and revealing differences and commonalities of different cultures around the world is the next benefits of stories and now uh, I'm going to give you uh, some do's when you are uh, using storytelling method in your classroom. The first one is you should vary the volume. It means with low pitch, high pitch and the tempo of your voice should be uh, very different so that they are not uh, bored uh, when you are storytelling. Using your face and body and gestures will be a great advantage in meeting the objectives of the storytelling. Please use your facial expressions at maximum. Use your body language, your hands, your body. Uh, use some gestures to uh, express the information with your body. Let your body speak and make your body and face respond to the tale. And the next thing that uh, you should do is you should have a clear focus and maintain concentration. Please don't be interrupted by other things and from the uh, beginning and the end of the story, keep focus on the story and on your kids as uh, it will be a great advantage to leave positive impression on your kids about your method and the story. And then maintain engaging eye contact with the audience and if uh, there is one student, um, so engage eye contact with individual listener. Look at their eyes. Uh, it shows that you are monitoring them while speaking and it also makes them stay alert while they are listening. So it will be a great advantage. And please uh, remember to have a charismatic presence. It means uh, make your learners believe in you. Believe that the characters they are listening is in their teacher. They should see, they should look at the characters of the story from you. And please use exaggerated character voices. 
If you are uh, telling some information about animal, please use the voice of the animal at maximum. If it's about evil voice or happy voice, use low pitch, high pitch and use different exaggerated voices within the characters you are um, engaging. And please be dynamic, don't sit still, don't be in your, uh, don't be in your pla place uh, for a long time. Move from place to place, move around the room and you should be highly dynamic when you are storytelling to your students. And remember to pace yourself. It doesn't mean that you should be active and moving all the time. You should find this um, golden middle where to stop and where to continue and where to go to extremes. And always remember to regain your style as a narrator. It's not only about showing that emotions or body language, it's also about uh, making learners believe in your words as you should have a very good narrator skills. And sometimes you will also have to use some silence and pauses to add some dramatic effect and it will be uh, very uh, so exciting for students why our teacher is so silent and what happened next uh, so what will be the next character what uh, what will he or she says and it will create some interest uh, some incentive into this story one of the most important aspect of storytelling uh, when teaching young learners is it boosts their interest in reading so which is super crucial in their uh, studies so reading is very powerful and being a reader gives them knowledge that can open up worlds. By reading one book, uh, one person can become another person, one person can live another person's life. And uh, however, nowadays more people and more young learners, young children are uh, quite engaged in different gadgets and smartphones, uh, which is blocking their way from reading. Their interest in reading is decreasing and interested in some digital life is increasing. And by storytelling uh, in the classroom, they will have more motivation to read themselves, to be in different stories themselves, apart from teacher or parents. They will have independent uh, choice of books, independent willingness to reading that book. And developing this uh, reading habit from childhood encourages kids to learn about and pursue topics of interest throughout their lives and to become more aware of other cultures and beliefs and different people's lives. People with cultural knowledge tend to be more empathetic, which means if we increase this empathetic skill of our children from their early ages, later in life, uh, when they reach to from, when they go from teenagehood to adulthood they will have good social skills with others and good uh, sensibility to different situations in their workplace or in their studies and as teachers uh, we are helping to raise the future of our generation and empathy and compassion are an important part of this process teaching is not only explaining some rules or making learners uh, learn new words. It's also about teaching them real life, preparing our learners to the real life. And through storytelling, I strongly believe that teacher will be able to prepare their students to the real life by giving them different situations through the stories, different life experiences in a playful and fun manner, fun way. And one thing that teachers should consider is they should set up a regular time for storytelling. So it means uh, you cannot use storytelling in your classroom all the time. Students may get bored from this method. You should use this method from time to time depending on the uh, lesson objectives and your students' interests. And setting up a regular time will calm a class classroom of energetic students and kids uh, who will be ready to listen and give their full attention to the lesson and their teachers and they will have more focus and concentration on the lesson. And the first time you tell stories might be challenging because uh, learners will not be aware of the benefits and um, 
some interesting things that they may get once they are being story told and uh, you shouldn't be afraid of using storytelling for the first time after uh, students will get used to uh, as a routine and they will definitely love it and they will be more uh, focused on the activity and by storytelling, as I've mentioned before, you can easily teach some new vocabulary um, to your learners. And story time is a great practice that increases English vocabulary in the young learners. And repetitive stories can create confidence. And you can often hear students telling the same story to others if they like. And listening to this uh, will be very, uh, can be very motivating for teachers and young learners uh, working on vocabulary tenses and pronunciation all the while will enjoy the story itself apart from that official and monotonous lessons they will be relaxed they will just listen to their teacher and have some imagination and by storytelling we can uh, also promote empathy and moral stories especially teaching them different behaviors, advocate for good manners and empathy, and they will introduce topics that are important for social development, uh, social interaction uh, with their peers and with them uh, in a classroom environment. I hope today's information you got from the video will be useful for you as a teacher and goodbye.